Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. Let's get into your energy and the messages that come with it. All right, so let's start with this life and career deck. What do you have for Pisces? Perspective, whoa, that is your card right there. If you change the way you look at things, you could see everything in a brand new light that will help you get where you want to be. So the divine could be offering you a new direction okay you coming out as a different person and staying on that path so there is a tendency at this point where you are at Pisces to want to have a turn around or to want to turn back and the divine is saying to keep going so it's going to come with the bittersweet feelings where you are releasing and embracing the new you all at the same time. Star power. Stepping into your star power. You need engaging work that will let your talent shine. You are a natural actor and influencer. You attract fame and fortune. Hmm. Connections. Build bridges between people. Contact those who can help you. Your actions set you up for the next opportunity. One more card. Freedom. You need to have more flexibility with your shadow and income. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. I feel like some of you have already gotten this time off. So-called time off, but it's more of like this meditative state. And this is where your revelations have come. And that is what is giving you a new perspective or a new outlook. And this is also requiring you to have some processing time. Because in all of that, the expansion comes a need for integration and planning. Okay, so let's see reflection there. So you may be doing some reflection you're set up for success, Pisces. You truly are. Some of you have been here already. You're just having um, a boost to all of that. Ultimately, you are definitely a different person entirely. Okay, so let's get into the tarot. What do you have for Pisces? The Hierophant, that is your spiritual journey. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn energy, Earth sign. The Hierophant is also, it's Taurus energy and then there is the Saturn influence, the influence of planet Saturn. So there could be something to do with your position here on Earth. Earth Mother, planet Earth. And this is a connection to your grounding. So it's like you're bringing all of that, this 5D being, bringing all of that knowledge. I don't see the King of Cups here, but that is the vibe I'm getting. The knowledge and wisdom, not only from your past experiences in this lifetime, but also from your ancestors, from the divine, into some earthly venture. This could be to do with some healing work or spiritual teaching. It could be energy reading as well. Okay, so let's get more about these two energies. Hmm. A lot of earth here connection with earth it's like earth is giving you a home welcoming you home okay the chariot cancer ace of pentacles king of pentacles three of pentacles Queen and King of Pentacles. 
and in between we have the number seven and ace of pentacles pisces this is you okay you could also apply this to another person this has to do with your work you are on the road to success. You're stepping into your star power. There's a new opening that is happening for you at this time. With that perspective of you like moving, in, moving, going out into the world as a different person. Hmm. With the chariot here. It's definitely the road to success and the divine is saying to keep going in your balance because it feels like you are queen of pentacles and then king of pentacles on both sides divine feminine divine masculine and we have ace of pentacles so two becoming one Three of Pentacles here could, could be some collaborative work. There was something about connections here. Build bridges between people. Contact those who can help you. Your actions set you up for the next opportunity. Okay, so you may be in the process of some networking, building connections, or observing, really. You could be observing to see who is part of your tribe but ultimately it's all about your connection with spirit here coming back home so first of all this is about your welcome back home or welcome home to earth mother it's like you're feeling more grounded and I'm getting an energy of stability even with the Cancerian energy. And this is within you. It's all happening from within, on the inside. Now, as you go out there, you're going out as this King of Pentacles in your manifestation energy. So this is given the next step. One, two, three, four. So it's like you've built up the stability and then you're going out there. And that is where the expansion is happening, the number three. So let's get more. Six of Swords. Freedom. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Hmm. So this is to do with, let's read freedom again. You need to have more flexibility with your schedule and income or schedule. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. So this is what you're working on at this time. And the divine is working with you. So this feels like your collaboration with your guides. Okay, there may be a Sagittarius as well. Um... The Six of Swords is something that you're doing. It's like whatever this is, you have taken a lot of healing with you. And you're taking that out there. Five of Wands. Conflict and Drama. Knight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. So there could be something related to money. Regarding some family. Okay, it could be to do with inheritance. And someone wants to come to you very fast. For some of you, this could be some estate or some house that was left to you. Or left for you. And you're not even aware of it. They're still clashing with themselves. What more would you like Pisces to know? 
eight of wands and the five of wands is, and ten of pentacles so there could be some fast communication coming in regarding this you've moved away from drama and you're focusing on your new beginnings and the divine is saying the past is not over it's still going to come back but that is because there's something that hasn't been fully resolved regarding some inheritance that is owed to you by a group of people hmm. why am i getting real estate here <laughs> uh, i'm getting that there's something about clash or conflict four of wands ten of pentacles there the home the structure and wheel of fortune that is your card the hanged man So the divine is saying the tower is here aries energy so there's something about the divine urging you to keep going with what gives you peace of mind what gives you calm because whatever this is if it's yours then it's yours already and you are right on track with staying away from conflict regarding this there are some fast communications coming in and it may come in the form of drama and it feels like you're moving in this way this is your mental health in that you are manifesting you're connecting with your guides okay so let's get more three of swords Page of Wands. Th the Three of Swords and Page of Wands could be a twin flame connection or it could be some kind of message that is coming from something that puts you in a third party situation. Or this may be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, I'm picking up all the signs here. Uh, yeah, there may be a message coming in. A lot of wands. And here you are. Regal, Royal. Ten of Swords. Is an aspect of communication. Or the lack of it. So there's someone that is uh, that wants to speak, but they're finding it hard to communicate. But they're bringing in a message to you. So let's get more about this. What is this message about? Nine of Wands. Taking up so much burden. the star so you put a lot of work into this a lot of healing on your own part and the star is Aquarius energy three of wands feels like you're moving forward from this because this person is it's like this they're staying in the same place that they've always been and they may not be willing to move three of swords so the star is you embodying all of that for your manifestations tell us more about three of swords seven of pentacles they're not happy with their investments. I feel like this message came up before.
so there's an emphasis on this person and maybe this is why the perspective is coming as well with uh, this person's journey and the divine is saying to this is why you are having that change of direction even with the three of wands it's like everything has pushed you towards this alignment within yourself it has been all about your purpose and your own expansion it's all been for you so this person was here to help you to create capacity within and now that you've done that you're moving in a new direction so it's like you're in this transition Pisces you are in between and that is why the perspective is coming out again it's like the divine is saying a brand you are you could see everything in a brand new light that will help you get where you want to be hmm and this is the brand new light with the hanged man energy I see it's all a process though isn't it six of cups and the Sun more revelations about the past whether it's the past in this lifetime or past in many lifetimes before so it's like you have new guides as well you could be assigned this new direction is you're being assigned new spirit guides and they're changing duty page of swords so this is all about your learning your education you're learning something new with this change of direction king of cups there finally it comes out and you are operating as this king of cups emerge between heaven and earth that is the king of cups And the, I would say the only downside of the King of Cups is that tendency to, mm, is that tendency to not, because the King of Cups has garnered so much wisdom from the past. And there's a way they've learned to cope where nothing interests them. They're all about their work. They're all about applying that to what gives them peace what gives them peace of mind because they don't like drama so one downside of it is where they can belittle their experiences and that in itself can be what I would call toxic or it can hold one back from expressing themselves so I feel like this retrograde in Mercury was significant for this aspect for you still owning all of that and then validating yourself even more so for some of you you may have found yourself uh, speaking up in some capacity where you would not have like moving with all of who you are so that's presence I don't know I feel like there's something that came about presence okay justice this is your justice this is your karmic justice for some of you there could be someone else coming it could be a soulmate with this two divine feminine divine masculine and I'm also getting for some it's you on your own for now You're moving on your own. 
and you know this this is a communication that you're having with the divine by yourself there is a commitment that you have to the earth something that you're bringing it's always been part of your contract to bring this knowledge to the world and you are being communicated that through your guides they're going to communicate more of that to you as to the next steps to take okay there could also be like a libra coming into your energy here with the chariot ace of pentacles someone bringing in a new offer or a solid offer of commitment Another message I'm getting that this could be a past commitment here and there's someone that is wanting to come in even though that is not a strong one. This is more about you. Eight of Wands are still here. Four of Swords. Yeah, this is more about spiritual warfare and your manifestations for you to... Of course, continue to be in the awareness that you are pretty much in a spiritual warfare. But it's, it feels different. This is a lot of grounding energy here for you, Pisces. Okay. What do we have from the Chakra Wisdom? Discovery wisdom in there and then creation it, it I, I love this reading it, it's like it's even a lot of information it, it's like all information in this reading okay so let's see discovery and wisdom discovery is the root chakra In the past, you may not have been fully prepared to face facts. Being willing to take the journey regardless of the outcome will prove rewarding. Get ready to carry a commitment through to completion there. Wisdom. This is the earth grain which brings wisdom, patience and acceptance. Sage is perfect when you need to prove nothing, when you choose simply to be wise. There is an ability here to bring serenity to any situation, and indeed, it may be needed. So serenity to any situation may be needed, and that is the King of Cups. This is serene, wise, regal, royal. And that feels like your energy. Okay, so angels and ancestors, what do we have for Pisces? Hermit, retreat and recharge. Lord, take charge with authority. Hmm. Virgo, Capricorn, okay. Fire Guardian, ignite your passions. Which be the light. So there are aspects of divine masculine energy here. Very strong aspects. If you are divine feminine, this is you embracing that. If you are divine masculine, there's something that is calling you in. Or there may be something actually someone trying to come in to your energy or the other way around they're taking charge but first the divine masculine has gone in whether within you first as a divine feminine uh, the divine feminine is coming out and then the, the divine masculine component is in hermit mode so picture that happening within. So it's more in a meditative state. So we're moving from a time of 
doing, doing, to now truly being. And this is why you have been a pioneer of this change that is an effect for the whole of the world. But you are a pioneer. Lord, take charge with authority is... I'm getting Capricorn energy here. You may have that in your chart. Or it could be that connection with the shadows because the shadows are all about when we talk about criticism we may feel like it's all negative but we know that that is what keeps us to to be on this earth you know to be in the real life to understand that yeah sometimes we have to bring up that shadow aspect to operate so this is how the shadow aspect supports you fire guardian is about sensuality and sexuality how we apply that and make it a part of our being, make it a part of our lives. It's not separate. We used to see it as separate, but now we see that it's not. It's a part of our everyday. Okay, so let's see. Which Be The Light is more about the whole drama that I picked up. There is some drama happening somewhere, and it's like you are... And choosing to observe with that out there. So there's that observer mindset that you have. It doesn't mean that you're pers passive. No, you're just going with that, with the wisdom. Applying the wisdom that you have garnered to your work, to what serves you. Okay, so let's see. Hermit, 41. Take time to rest and recuperate in order to continue your growth. Benefit from the information that will come directly from your heart space. And I feel like I got reflection here, here earlier. Take time to revisit the past and figure out what you want to do. Knowing what you don't like will show you what you truly love. You have been working hard and giving your all to your current situation and it may become draining and detrimental to your development unless you retreat and recharge your energies. So you are being guided to take a step back at this time. If you are working on bringing something together, your over-involvement could impede the process. So retreat and breathe. If you have something to say or do that could have a larger impact on your life, spend some, some time in deep thought, even contemplation, before moving forward. Often, when we rush in, we don't see how destructive our actions can be. So, meditate and listen to your soul's wisdom before proceeding further. Which, be the light. Take the higher road and choose the light. Remove yourself from lower energy experiences. Okay, here... The witch is joined by a horned ban all, showing that she is willing to respect those with more wisdom and experience than she has. But she is also willing to trust to trust what she feels to be right within. There. With this card, you are being reminded of the goodness within. No matter what is happening to you or around you, you have a choice. Choose not to be pulled into dramas, bickering or energies that are just going to limit your joy. How can you protect yourself? How can you help the person that is being picked on? You are an incredible person who can really bring light. Alright Pisces, I'm going to read a bit of Lord and Fire Guardian because I'm being guided to do that. So let's see. Don't be afraid to take charge or use your voice. Be strong. Sometimes you have to take control in order to be honored. If you feel that your kindness or gifts are being taken for granted, it's time to change that. There is no excuse for bad behavior and the ancestors are encouraging you to hold your ground and speak your mind in a fiercely loving way. You have the energy and might to overcome dramas or energies that aren't working for your growth. And it's time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in. You are being encouraged to be the boss instead of being bossed. 
This card also brings the energy of ambition and can show that you have the potential to move upwards on a professional level, but only if you act with authority and show who you really are. I got this card for Aries, so you may be connected to Aries as well with Fire Guardian. So let's see more. 103. Connect with your desires. The sparks could lead to something beautiful. You are being guided by your angels to connect with the powerful energy of desire at this time. If you have recently set an intention to explore your sexual side or become more sexually open, the fire of desire can burn away any old setbacks that are preventing you from expressing the part of that part of your nature. If you are in a relationship, this card can indicate a great spiritual and sexual connection. Mm -hmm. All right, Pisces. I'm going to stop here for now. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you with more videos. Do take care and much love. Bye-bye.